Hello, I am Jody Wolf, and you're watching Expos on February 12, 2015, um, 8.31 p.m. Birmingham, Alabama. Topic, um, ISIS, I believe they're here. And today, this is just a little bit of go on Fox. O'Reilly, um, Congressman Buddy Carter, a Republican from Georgia on Capitol Hill, was speaking with, talking with, um, FBI Deputy Assistant Director Michael Steinbeck and asked him, just point blank, do you have the potential threats covered? And he said, how many and where are they? And all the answers were no. He said, we don't have the manpower to keep track of every person that leaves this country, goes to the Middle East, and come back. We don't know where they went. We don't know what they did. He said, we just don't have the manpower. And uh, some of you that watch this may recall that I had a blog, that I did a blog on this a few months ago telling you to watch your backs because it would come here and that it could and and if it is anywhere here like it is in the Middle East then the could is a would okay or a definite will it would be you know all you guys that don't want a, a dog in this fight stay on the porch because if the FBI can't keep tabs on the people and what they're doing, and they're coming back over here in their sleeper cells, we're in trouble. And But you can research that yourself, and you can see the very same thing that I saw. And so here now, kind of off of that, um... How does America feel and how they trust Obama? So question, does Obama, Obama know what to do? You ready for this? 19% of the people said yes. 73% of the people said no. He does not know what to do. And then is Obama reducing the threat? By his own words, you know, you've heard it, we don't call them terrorists. So the poll said the answer was 31% fair, 67% poor. So 31% maybe, 67% maybe not, but the actual number on the poll is 80% no. Because they're the ones that won't speak up and call them terrorists just just like Obama. So the real numbers are much higher. So does Obama know how to reduce the threat? The answer is no. And it's by a very high percentage. Guys, you have these people leaving here, going to the Middle East, and coming back. You don't know what they have become. You even have it being taught today at a university in California. I will give that to you later. I hadn't reviewed all of it yet, but they're there. Muslims are talking to California students. And anyway, I'm about to pop a cork here. I'm getting really aggravated. But in Florida yesterday, there was, or this past month, there was a, and I don't know the town, but I'll get it for you, in the courthouse. They had a prayer and then a, a salute the flag. Everybody got up and walked out of the courtroom, including the mayor. About six walked out and four stayed. The man that prayed, prayed straight to Allah. In our courtroom in the United States in Florida, he prayed to Allah. I would not have sat there a half a second. I would have walked out with the mayor. In fact, I'd have, I would have left that meeting 
That man sat right there and invited Satan into that meeting. I wouldn't have walked back in there. Guys, this country is coming to a ball. It's coming to a point where something's going to break. And my next video right behind this one, uh, you're not going to like it either. Jody Wolf, Exposed.